So this is a 1971 Suburban. All right. What were you doing in 1971? I was a youngster back then. Ah. I was 14, 15 years old. Did I ever imagine driving in 1971 Suburban in Detroit area? No, I, I, I was still getting into high school and having fun. And in, in, in my country, I was born in Iran. I went to high school in Iran and I started my college in Iran. In, in Iran, when you get into high school, at least the time that I was there, you pick, you pick your path. You either go toward uh, biological sciences, you become, then the claim is you're becoming a doctor, or you go toward math and science, you become an engineer. So you had two choices. So what year of this is a you for Dean? Year five? Uh, year, no, uh, year seven. Year seven, I, wow. I, I, seven, because I started 2011. February of 2011, hmm. I started my deanship uh, here at the College of Engineering, and then uh, I finished my first five-year term, and I'm in my second term right now. Well, you must have seen a lot of things changing around here. I know oh. we're we're about to come up on uh, the Anth new Anthony Wayne Drive Apartments, which uh, has changed the landscape a lot. I mean, what kinds of things have changed in your college during that seven-year time? Let, let me say first about the campus and what kind of changes mm. that um, when I I used to come to campus very early even today I come to campus every day come try to be here by 7 ish uh, because I get up at 4 30 hit the gym finish up that and I will come to campus when I used to come to campus that early morning and so on even till noon this area was dead mm. nobody no cars no human beings there were no classes you didn't be people walking around with a backpack and coffee in their hand or jogging and uh, pushing his strollers and so on. And now it looks like a real campus. And now, when I came from Michigan State, and you can see the campus there every time between classes in the morning and so on, crowds of students are going from one class to another class. And here is becoming like that. Yeah. It's pleasant to be here. It is changing. It's a, it's it's a student changing. culture that changes. I always say, you know, when, uh, when you come here, big... even on the weekends, and when you see people in the evenings, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It starts earlier in the day and it's it just amazing. goes throughout the and day. And it's good. You feel good about it. I yeah. feel good about it. Well, you know, it's that other kind of campus that we want to be in. And, you know, if our students are going to be successful, they've got to be engaged. they got to be connected. they got to feel like they're part and that, that they're really going to college, that they're not going to like a part-time job. Good thing about College of Engineering, we have many student organizations. Mm -hmm. One thing that really, really attracted me for this job dean of this college had to do with alumni, student and student organizations. They're live, they're active, they're engaged, uh, they want to help us. Uh, student organizations are outreaching the community, they are helping each other, tutoring each other. It's fun to see them, especially during the exam time. That you, each one of these student orgs, majority have their own offices. You see students are piling up in those offices. That they're getting help from their senior students in that program and so on. And, and that community building is beautiful. And, and I think uh, adding that to what we have in residential, it makes it even better. What do you think would be like one or two things that you think um, truly sets our, our, our College of Engineering here apart? One is we are in Detroit. Right. And Detroit is a manufacturing point. Detroit is where yeah. you can bring classroom exercises to real-world practices. And that opportunity, it doesn't have to be in the form of internship or co-op only in the summertime, or you take a semester off and do that. You can do it while you're here. You can go take do those kind of things in the daytime, afternoon, evening, take classes. Or some of those employers understand that this is a 24-7 type activities. They're giving you the times off to do a study for your exam and so on. So it's kind of like... We you know, building activity. or connecting, yep. bridging real world and, and the, the academic world. And, and we, what I'm trying to promote, because we have started a new program called uh, Corporate Partner Program, what we are trying to do with the Corporate Partner Program is really trying to close the gap between what industry wants and what we're teaching. You have access to so many professionals that they can do part-time teaching for us or helping uh, improve some of our activities. And we are getting doing that more and more of that. And I am starting this uh, executive in residence program, oh, wow. uh, and uh, we are trying to recruit some high-level executives who recently retired, 
or to be retired, to be engaged uh, with the college. I think, you know, I've only been here for three years and just seeing all of the changes even in that short period of time, how we're growing and how we're really capitalizing on, uh, you know, both the opportunities for our, our students, but also being just a part of that rebirth of the city. It's all of those kinds of things that you're talking about, the connection with industry, uh, the, the vibrant camp campus life. I mean, all of that has to happen to for us to, to be the true, you know, every great city that comes back, they always have an education part. It's, it's like the foundation because you, you create these things that need an educated workforce. And so um, it's, it's really cool hearing that in engineering, you know, you guys, are, you guys are trying things that are out of the box. Community outreach and engagement for us really is embedded in what we are teaching. I can tell you from my perspective, it's been fantastic having you be the lead uh, for the, the School of Engineering, the College of Engineering. Well, I appreciate that, it. That Thank there's you. just, uh, you got to have an open spirit. Um, you know, Detroit and Wayne State have gone through some tough times. And the, the thing is, is that you can't let that define you. You've got to still be able to identify opportunities and be able to be, you know, brave and bold enough. You can't, you know, you can't can't go reckless, but, you know, no no risk, no reward. And, and you've been I taking it all on. And then and you have to try it, and if it fails, take a take a credit, take a claim, a blame for, for that. But otherwise, really, be creative. This is the way the higher education should be. That's right. That's and if right. Uh, one of the challenges of higher education is our culture and rigidity, we can't change. We don't want to change. The change is bad. But that is not the world is asking us to do. That's right. If you want to survive, you have to do different things. Well, thanks for keeping us on track. Thank you. It's good. I visit with you and uh, great concept great idea let's do that with the other class.